Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, this is Fade Business Systems Group. Today we're happy to show you our Sugar CRM integration with JIRA. My name is Jesse. I'm the Marketing Director at Fade Business, Fade Business Systems Group. And today I'm happy to introduce our presenter, Caleb. He's our account executive and will be taking us through the presentation. Uh, if you should have any questions throughout, please feel free to put them in the chat box and I will get to them as uh, as they come in. All right, Caleb, I'm going to pass it over to you. All right, thanks, Jesse. Uh, thanks, to everyone, for uh, joining today's webinar, uh, Sugar CRM Integrated with JIRA, so project tracking on steroids. Uh, as Jesse said, my name is Caleb Digg. I'm an account executive here at Say Business Systems Group. Um, we're headquartered in Los Angeles. Um, I'm located uh, just outside of Philadelphia myself. Um, as far as an agenda for today's call, um, quickly going to go over a couple of PowerPoint slides and we will actually get into a live demonstration of the Sugar and Jira integration and go through a couple specific use cases that I've built out for today's call. Um, but as far as the agenda, just a little overview on Fay Business Systems Group, uh, why we think we have the right to speak with you today about the Sugar and Jira integration. Um, some background on Sugar CRM, uh, Jira itself, uh, the pains of JIRA and Sugar CRM not integrated, and the benefits of JIRA and Sugar CRM integrated. We'll jump into the actual live demo where I'll go through some specific examples, uh, and then at the end I'll kind of recap the benefits um, to your business of having this Sugar CRM and JIRA integration working together. Okay. So some background on Fay Business Systems Group. So we have 25 plus years of experience, uh, more than 500 clients today. Uh, we're the number one uh, global Sugar CRM partner in the world last year. Uh, Sugar CRM is actually the only CRM that we work with and that we support. Uh, we actually worked with uh, almost all the CRMs as of about six or seven years ago, decided to drop all of them and work exclusively with Sugar just because we liked the direction the company was going, um, how easy it is to work with, um, and really how anything is possible with it. Um, along with Sugar, uh, we also are a quick based solution provider. Um, we also work with NetSuite and Sage on the ERP side, and we're an ACTO and marketing automation partner. Um, as I said, our office, our headquarters is in Los Angeles, but we do have offices across the country in Austin, Atlanta, and Philadelphia where I'm located. Um, and all of our programming and support team are all located here in the United States. So here's a quick snapshot of uh, Fay Business Systems Group and how we've really built a business around Sugar CRM. So in the middle, you can see the Sugar CRM Cube, and around it are all the different integrations that we've built and that we support. Uh, the one that we'll cover today, of course, is Jira, um, but we also have integrations with cloud storage platforms like Box and Dropbox, um, QuickBooks for um, an accounting system, Sage and NetSuite on the ERP side. Um, we recently just released a customer access Sugar Hub, otherwise known as Cash, which allows you to present uh, sugar data out to a, a portal that we've created and gives you get, where you can give access to hundreds of users um, access to sugar data without you know spending the money on the sugar CRM licenses. Uh, so something we're pretty excited about. So this uh, real snapshot here just gives you an idea of you know, why we love working with sugar so much just because we've been able to do so much with it. Uh, Next is just a little background on our strategic partnerships um, that we've really picked up over the last year or two. Um, just a, a, another way for us to really uh, support our clients and give them the best services um, available to them um, within the Sugar ecosystem. So a couple of these integrations um, and strategic partnerships are with PandaDocs for uh, creating proposals and e-signature, um, ActOn for marketing automation, uh, Tenfold for uh, phone integrations, so Tenfold integrates uh, Sugar with any really any phone system that really exists out there. Um, so these are just a couple of us strategic partnerships that we've uh, started on in the last uh, couple of years. Okay, so that's about it on Fay Business Systems Group about Sugar CRM. For those of you that that don't know it, they are the world's fastest growing CRM company in the world. Um, the largest pure play provider of CRM software, meaning that they focus on being the best CRM on the market and nothing else. Um, whereas Sugar's uh, competitors typically are focused on buying out other companies, adding it to their suite of products, 
um, whereas sugar is focused on just being the best CRM it can be. Um, they're located in Cupertino, California, up the street from the new Apple headquarters, over 500 employees today. Um, it's the third largest global CRM provider by seat, according to Forrester, um, second only to Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics, or third only to those two. Um, it's a CRM that's used by 1.2 million users worldwide, and it is a CRM that can be used for small, medium-sized businesses with up to 10 users and for enterprise-level customers. Um, for example, IBM is Sugar's largest customer, and they have about 185,000 users worldwide. Okay. So there's some background on Sugar and some background on JIRA. So JIRA is the project management tool for agile teams. Um, they've started back in about 2002. Um, main functionality of JIRA include uh, issue tracking, bug tracking, uh, project management, it's used by 19,000 companies in over 115 company, countries around the world. Um, Jira's clients today, just some of them include Facebook, eBay, Cisco, and, and Twitter, just as a couple to mention. Okay. So there's some background on Fay Business Systems Group, Sugar, and Jira by itself. Um, now I just wanted to touch on uh, really just you know, some of the pains. If you have these two systems, Sugar and Jira, and they're not integrated with one another, you know, there are going to be some pains um, running them separately. Um, so the first pain would be the need to learn two applications. So as a lot of you might know, it's really difficult to get uh, users to adopt different uh, pieces of software, um, let alone just one system, learning one new system. If you have Sugar and Jira separate, you know, your sales users are going to have to, use, to have to learn Sugar. They'll also have to use Jira as well to log in tickets or to update tickets. Um, whereas a support person as well would also have to learn Jira as their, as their main system and also Sugar as well to update the salespeople. Okay, so two systems there. Um, likely not going to get the most adoption out of both of them if you have them using both systems. Um, the next pain would be the need to open up JIRA to create and assign issues and projects. Um, so an example of this might be if you're working with one of your existing clients and they give you a call to let you know that you know, they run into an issue. Um, with JIRA and Sugar separate, as a salesperson, I would actually have to open up Sugar. Uh, I, would have, I would be within Sugar. I would have to open up JIRA. I would have to locate that specific account that's calling in and I'd have to log the issue. Uh, I might have to also send an email or call someone in support um, to log the issue as well. Um, so all of this is a lot of work to have to do while you're on the phone with your client. So it's just extra work taking time out of your day as a salesperson where you could be selling. Um, another pain might be the need to open JIRA once again to check the status of issues and projects and, and due dates as well. Um, so back to that same example, imagine that same client that called up four hours earlier to submit the ticket. Uh, that's called back up and they would like to check the status of that issue that they've submitted. Um, now you have to you know, close out Sugar, you have to open up JIRA, you have to find that ticket again and you have to check the status. Okay, so once again, just a couple extra steps. Um, really difficult to get the answer for someone very quickly on the phone when you have to toggle between two different platforms and open up a new uh, application just to, just to get a status. Um, next is the unnecessary communication between departments. Um, so sales may need to call or email support for updates on issues and support may need to call to get clarification on issues. Um, everyone's busy, everyone has meetings throughout the day, so it could take hours or maybe sometimes days to hear back on specific issues. Um, and emails and calls can also go missed, so it could delay this even more. Okay. Um, an example of this might be, you know, if one of your clients, uh, you know, uh, may want to let you know that a specific uh, issue has been completed. Uh, maybe they call up and they say they're having an issue and they'd like you to reach back out to them when that issue has been completed. Um, with JIRA and Sugar separate, the sales rep would actually have to sporadically maybe go back into JIRA. They'd have to check to see if that specific issue has been uh, completed, and that'll waste their time going back into another system to check the status of that. Um, they also might have to reach out to that support rep that's working on that issue to check if it's been completed. 
Okay, so just unnecessary communication between departments that you could really do without um, if you do have these two systems integrated. Um, lastly, and I think one of the one of the biggest pains of here and not integrated with sugar um, is that you're paying an additional monthly cost for some users to have access to both systems. Um, so you're paying a certain amount to have sugar CRM for your sales reps. Um, you're also likely paying an additional monthly cost to give those sales reps access to JIRA to go in there and update tickets, um, to log tickets, to check statuses of tickets. Um, so it's an additional cost there paying for licenses in both Sugar and JIRA. So those are some of the main pains that we typically see for companies that you know don't have the two systems integrated. Um, now I'll talk about kind of the benefits of integrating the two systems together. Um, so first and foremost, support and sales, they only have to learn one system. So sales only has to learn Sugar CRM and uh, support only has to learn you know, JIRA. Um, with only one system and only having to learn one system, those respective departments can really focus on learning that system and using it in the best way possible. So you're getting the most out of it. Um, the next benefit would be the ability to create and assign JIRA issues inside of Sugar CRM. So in the example I gave earlier, if a client actually gave you a call and wanted to uh, submit an issue that they have, you actually don't have to go into JIRA anymore to submit that issue. You can do it all right within the Sugar interface with our integration. Okay. Um, next would be real-time updates of JIRA issues inside of a Sugar account. Um, and I'll show this to you on the demo, but you can actually, you know, obviously open up an account within Sugar CRM. You can see all of the JIRA issues, and you could actually uh, check the status of them in real time and give an update to your client in real time. Okay. Next is the ability to build Sugar CRM dashlets based on JIRA issue data. So all the data from JIRA is going to actually be available within its own custom module and fields within Sugar CRM so you can build dashlets and reports off of this data. Um, also, you can build workflows off of this as well, and I'll show you some specific examples in the demo. Um, there's also not going to be any unnecessary communication between departments because all these different workflows are going to trigger reactions. All these different dashlets and reports that you could have readily available to you would limit the net unnecessary communication between these departments. And lastly, uh, Sugar users would not need to have access to JIRA any longer with this integration. So there would not be a need to, to purchase both Sugar and JIRA licenses, so you would be saving money and reducing the cost there. Okay, so these are some of the benefits of integrating the two systems. Um, now I just wanted to show some of this to you in actually a live demo environment. Um, so I'm going to close out of my PowerPoint there and open up my demo instance here. Um, so just to go back on some of those bullet points one by one. So the first thing was the ability to actually create JIRA issues within Sugar. Okay, so for example, say this account Sleepy Town gives me a call and they'd like to submit an issue that they're having with our software. Uh, I'd simply just find the account Sleepy Town, scroll down to my related sub-panel here for JIRA issues. I could see all, all of the ones that have, that have been completed or are submitted in the past. If I want to create a new JIRA issue for Sleepy Town, just simply create a new JIRA issue. And from here, then it's going to ask me to log in the specific field so we can sync this back to JIRA. Okay, so you're going to have your different JIRA types, um, you can actually assign this to a specific JIRA user right here within Sugar. Um, you can have different project codes, client codes. So all these fields are just fields that are going to come over from your JIRA inside of Sugar here. Okay. Um, so there's the ability to create the actual ticket JIRA issue on the fly within Sugar. Um, next would be getting those real-time updates, uh, JIRA updates within Sugar. So again, imagine that Sleepy Town gave us a call and they wanted to check the status of a specific JIRA issue. Um, I could simply just, you know, of course, find the account Sleepy Town, look at their related JIRA issues. Maybe they're calling about the demo ticket for DH. Um, I could click on that JIRA issue and it's actually going to show me um, everything that's happening with this, with this issue. So what the current status is of it. Um, you could have a description field down here where your JIRA users will log their notes in so I could see the updates of the notes. 
Um, if there was a due date, I could track to see what the due date was. So these are all real-time updates that I could see directly here within Sugar. And if someone gives me a call, I could give this to them, give this update to my client on the fly without wasting time or having to log into a new system. Okay. Also, if you go back and if you look at a specific account view here, off to the right in the intelligence pane, you can also make all JIRA issues on this account available right within that intelligence pane in the list view. Okay. Uh, next was the ability to create different sugar CRM dash lists um, from the actual JIRA data. So as you can as you saw there with this one JIRA issue ticket, we actually have all the JIRA information and data directly here within Sugar. So we can build reports on all of this. If I come back to my home screen here, this is actually populated with all these different JIRA information from JIRA. So if I wanted to see a list of all my past two JIRA issues, I could see that right here on my home screen when I log in. So these are four JIRA issues that are past due as of yesterday. Maybe I want to reach out to these clients to let them know that, they're, that we're still working on this JIRA issue and we'll work to get it resolved as soon as possible. Um, in the middle, you can see JIRA issues by status. So of all the different statuses of our JIRA issues, these are the statuses that they're currently in. You can track all of the open JIRA issues for your accounts. So maybe these are all the accounts that are assigned to me, and these are all the open JIRA issues that are being worked on right now within JIRA. So I can kind of track the status of them and see you know, how they're coming along. Okay. I could also see issues by priority. So if I wanted to break up my JIRA issues by priority, I could see that on one dashlet. And also, if I wanted to track JIRA issues by user, I could see a list of all of my JIRA users here and see all of the issues that are currently in their names. Right, and as you know, with the sugar dash lists, you can move these around into any specific order that you want to see them in. Right. And also within sugar, as all of these dash lists here are graphical renderings of reports, uh, we would be able to drill into each one of these in more detail. Um, so here's just an example of one of my reports that I showed as a dashboard there. And it's actually breaking down all of these individual uh, JIRA users and all of the JIRA issues that are currently in their name. And underneath it, it's actually giving me a number to each one of those. And okay, now what is nice about, of course, Sugar reports is the ability to use these runtime filters. So I can actually select a different uh, list of users. I could select a different list of statuses that appear within this report, and then I can apply this runtime filter and it will show me a totally new report. And just as you use with any, do with any other sugar reports, you can share these, you can copy it into a different type of report, you can schedule these JIRA issue reports to get automatically sent to you at the end of each day, hour, week, month. So as a sales rep, you could create a report of all of the upcoming JIRA issues due dates, and you can get that email to you maybe on an hourly basis, on a daily basis, just so you know what's going on with your customers. Okay. Um, so those are some of the dashlets. Um, you know, the last kind of demo portion that I wanted to show um, was actually the ability to build uh, the workflows off of all of this JIRA data. Um, so just to be clear that the workflow edition that I'm going to show you are all included in the Sugar Enterprise Edition. Um, it is called Process Definitions within that Enterprise Edition. Um, so I actually have three here that I've enabled that I'll show one by one. Um, you know, first one here would be you know a past due email, and I'll go into our actually actual designer here. One second. to be taking a moment to open up. <clears throat> there we go. Um, so here's just an example of a workflow that you could build out so that you are you know, keeping in front of your clients as due dates approach on JIRA issues. Um, so this is a workflow that's saying when a new JIRA issue is created, we're going to wait until the due date, and then we're going to add one, one day to that due date. You know, here's some of the back end of it, but you're going to wait until the due date and you're going to add one day. So one day after the due date, we're going to put this JIRA issue through this gateway. 
Okay, so if you go to your settings on this gateway, you can actually set the criteria. So we're going to e send an email to the client if the status is not equal to closed. Uh, we're going to send an email to a manager if the status is not equal to closed. And if it's closed, we're just going to end the event. So this is kind of the tree that it breaks off of into here. So then you can see that we're sending an email to a manager if it's not, if this specific JIRA issue is not closed out. You can kind of pick and choose where you want to send these emails to. You can have different templates for each of them. And up here, we're actually sending an email to a client. So with this workflow, you're able to get ahead of your due dates. You're able to let your clients know that you're still working on an issue. Um, even though the due date's passed, you want to let them know that you're still thinking of them and you're trying to get that issue resolved. Okay, so here's, here's one of the examples. Um, another one might be, you know, once an issue is completed, a JIRA issue is completed, we might want to fire off an email to that customer just to let them know that that JIRA issue has been completed. Okay, maybe they didn't get a chance to log back into their system to see if that bug or that issue was completed. We want to notify them with an email. So this is a very simple one that, you know, whenever a new JIRA issue is created, we're going, or when it's completed, we're going to actually send off an email. Okay, so a very simple one, but giving that JIRA, information, JIRA data available within Sugar, you can build these workflows and automate that process. Okay, then the last one here would just be, uh, you know, if, that, if a specific JIRA issue is at one status for more than a specific amount of time, like two days in this example, you know, we're going to take some actions off of that. Just to take a second to open up the designer here. Um, so this is saying that when a new JIRA issue comes in, we're going to wait two days. Now this, you could wait any number of amount of days as you'd like. It could be a number of hours, uh, minutes. You could set it based on a fixed date as well. Uh, and then we're going to send this JIRA issue into this gateway. Um, you know, if that JIRA issue is not at a different stage, we're going to send it, create a task for a supervisor to follow up. Okay. Then we're going to wait four more hours, and if that specific stage has not been changed again, we're going to send an email off to uh, a supervisor as well. Okay, so this is just, you know, another, one, another example of a way that you can really stay on top of those JIRA issues so that you know, both departments, sales and support are on top of them, and also your clients are also aware of what's going on with their JIRA issues as well. Um, keeping your clients uh, aware of, of the JIRA issues and, and letting them know that you're working on it, you know, might make it a little bit easier if that, that due date passes and if it's taking a little bit longer to get it completed. Okay. Um, so that's about it for for the demo, these are just a couple examples. Would be happy to dive into more details on how the actual integration works. Um, just to kind of wrap up today's uh, demo, just wanted to bring back up the PowerPoint slide here and, and just talk about and recap kind of the benefits um, to your business of having this Sugar and JIRA integration. Um, so it does drive adoption in each respective system. Um, because sales users are solely going to be using Sugar, and support users are solely going to be using Jira. Okay, so each system is going to be getting the most out of itself. Um, with the Jira and Sugar integration, it also gives the sales team more time to sell. So the sales team would spend less time, you know, checking for statuses of Jira issues within Jira, spend less time opening up Jira to log Jira issues. Um, so it'll give them more time to do what they're supposed to be doing, which is selling. Um, it'll also give the support team more time to resolve issues and keep clients happy. Um, so support team would not have to log into Sugar to check on a specific year issue or update a status within on the Sugar side as well. They could work exclusively within within Jira, and they could update tickets in Jira, and that would in turn update back in Sugar. Um, and lastly, you would save money on licensing costs. Um, again, so you wouldn't have to be purchasing sugar licenses and JIRA licenses. Um, you could have just, um, again, sugar users, sales users using sugar and support users using JIRA. Okay. So that's about it. I was able to keep that under uh, 30 minutes here that we've set time for the webinar. Um, if anyone is interested in you know, looking at the JIRA and sugar integration in a little bit more detail, 
um, maybe diving into some of the configuration settings of how it's set up and how it works, um, feel free to, to reach out to me directly or Jesse, and we can definitely set up time to, to talk further on that.